part that <clears throat> you know got me a little puzzled because when I think about growing fruit, I mean you go into the soil. So you need the soil to be able to do that. And I'm thinking, okay, the soil has all the minerals, it has everything that is needed, you know, for you to be able to grow this food. Uh but how does the process of hydroponic, how does that work? In, in, um, comparison, hydroponic, in, in comparison with soil. So hydroponic, the word hydroponic just means without soil. Yeah. Um, so we just grow in water and, and nutrients. Um, sometimes we grow in a inert substrate called rock wool. Um, mm. Rock wool is basically rock that they melt and they spin like cotton candy and they put it in different blocks. So it's, it's basically growing in melted rock with water and, and nutrients over it. Um, but there is, contrary to popular belief, <laughs> and I'm going to burst your bubble here a bit, um, <laughs> plants don't need soil. There is nothing about mm. that, that that a plant needs. So a plant needs wow. oxygen, a plant needs water, a plant needs, you know, micronutrients, uh, it needs nitrogen, you know, it's kind of these base amino acids. Um, so sometimes it can get it from the soil, depending mm -hmm. on where the plant is growing. Mm -hmm. um, but ask any farmer who has a really poor, um, you know, farm that, you know, that's been overworked, let's say, um, he's going to say the soil is overworked. It's, you know, the soil is tired. We sometimes hear um, mm -hmm. it's not producing anymore. So, yeah, I mean, you've basically drawn all the nutrients out of the soil and not able to to replenish it. So um, in that case, soil isn't the answer. Um, I, I think in nine times out of 10, soil is, is not the answer. So what yeah. we do is we provide water, we provide oxygen, and we provide the, uh, the amino acids that a plant needs. And we do it in such a way that there's no evaporation, there's no runoff, there's no wastage. Um, and it's always around the root of the plant. So, uh, you know, the plant cells are growing and dividing, you know, all the time. And so every time that plant goes to, to grow and divide a cell, it has all the nutrients it needs. Whereas if you look at field grown farming, um, you know, sometimes farmers put applications of fertilizer on once a season, maybe twice a season. So, you know, there's 30, 40, 60, 90 days sometimes that that plant goes without all the proper nutrients. Um, so growth is stunted. You know, the plant is malnourished. Uh, when the farmer does go to put water and, and fertilizer on, um, most of that I say most because in in all the reporting cases, it's over 60% of that nutrient and water doesn't make it to the active root zone. So that's a that's a huge waste of our natural water resource. Mm -hmm. um, it's a waste of fertilizer, both in cost and and basically carbon footprint to to produce and truck and put that fertilizer on. Um, but then we have other cases where um, you know that fertilizer runoff goes into underground water sources it goes into streams it goes into riverways and contaminates those um, if you grow in the field you also have pests um, you have uh, weeds you have other you know animals that come and you know walk through your field so those are all other deterrents um, in hydroponics there's no weeds so you don't ever need to spray herbicide or pesticide so you're getting a, a plant, um, a perfectly natural plant that has been grown to the best of its potential um, without all these other chemicals on it. So it, it is, in essence, the most natural way to grow. Um, and, and that's why hydroponics. Right. So now here's a question that I may ask, and might be a dumb question, so to speak, but uh, I ask it anyway. <laughs> now, it's the... Uh, is the hydroponic food, is it healthy? Yeah, it's it's um, it's food without the chemical residue from herbicides and pesticides. So one, you, you don't have to, as a consumer, you don't have to worry about eating that. Right. Two, the, um, we use um, natural heirloom seeds. We use seed that other um, growers can't easily um, 
have access to. So a lot of these natural heirloom varieties aren't seen in the market because they're not grown commercially. Um, but because we can grow any seed that we need to in, in hydroponics, we have a lot of these specialty and heirloom uh, seed. Heirloom, the term heirloom kind of means open source. It means that's, you know, nobody's patented it. Nobody's touched it. It's the way the seed has been since the beginning of time. Mm -hmm. um, so we have all these amazing varieties of crops that we can grow in, in hydroponics. And, you know, they can grow to their best of their potential. They always have you know, let's say they always have all the food and water and nutrients that they need. Um, you know, same as people. If, if somebody grows up malnourished, they're not going to be to the best of their potential versus, right. you know, somebody grows up in an area that has everything. So, I mean, that's pretty much the plant. If the plant is in the field and malnourished, it's going to be not so healthy for you to eat. Yeah. So we, we've got, you know, this kind of perfect health. Yeah, especially without those all those pesticides and other chemicals now that they put in these foods and things like that. Okay, 